everything is rock and, and, and rap is more rock and roll than a lot of music that considers itself rock and roll. This was actually a group that dared to bring something that was always looked upon as being a, a, a small type of thing and just say, well, I'm bringing it over to an audience whether they like it or not. Yo, y'all know what I'm saying, right? About different stuff, doing different stuff, make stuff different. By the way, this ain't no bandwagon thing that we're jumping on. People probably, of course somebody's gonna say that to us, but just remember we did this back in 86. So. Just stick it up there. <laughs> Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the brand new cover for the corn record issue. Go ahead, rip it off. Grab that thing. There it is. Ooh, ooh, new corn. I took a whole bunch of art home and I had this with me like three times. I didn't think we we're gonna use it and it just we sat and we looked and we had we had it down to like about ten pieces and this was the one. We just looked at it and said that that's it. The nominations for best hard rock metal performances are and Justice for All, Metallica. <laughs> Crest of a Knave, Jethro Tull. And the winner is Crest of a Knave, Jethro Tull. <laughs> Most people know that I've, that I've been a gay man all of my life and, and that it's only been in, in, in recent times that it's an issue that I feel comfortable to address. Um, an issue that has been with me ever since recognizing my own sexuality. Um, something that I've been comfortable with forever. Something that I feel has uh, a moment, and this is the moment to discuss it. I think that uh, it's difficult for everybody, you know, in, in, in making, making the, the decision to come forward and step out and be who you are, especially if you're a, you're a teenager. Um, that's where a lot of, a lot of the anxiety uh, begins. And so uh, maybe people like myself and others that do step in front of a camera and, and, and let the world know, maybe it is, is, it, it's of some help, you know. It's that, well, there's an individual that has been successful, that's been able to achieve dreams and visions and goals in life and not let the issue of sexuality be something to hold them back. We're going to see Kiss without their makeup for the very first time. Paul Stanley, rhythm guitarist and lead vocalist. Paul is a co-founder of the group. Gene Simmons, bass, also co-founder of KISS. He is the fire-breathing, blood-spitting monster of KISS. <laughs> My name is Donna Davis, and I'm here with Metallica, the hot new heavy metal band from L.A. You want to say to everybody out there, metal up your ass! <laughs> okay, thank you. This is Donna Davis, and this is Metallica. Peter Steele! Peter Steele! Does that, that strikes you as rather strange. I mean, are you up there playing, women are dancing, going crazy, throwing themselves at you, trying to meet you backstage? What do you think of these women? Well, it's odd to me because this is my job. I'm not here to have a good time. I'm here to pay my phone bill and, you know, <laughs> and, you know, pay the rent. If they want to throw themselves at me, well, that's, that's their and business. And do you take them up on it? Do you sleep with some of them? Uh, have sex with someone? I'm have to take the Fifth Amendment on that. Somebody approached our office that they want the Senate committee is having a hearing on censorship with the PMRC and wanted to know if I would come and speak. Now, my view of it when I heard it was they want me to carry the flag into battle. Hell yeah. I would like to use this occasion to speak on a more personal note and show just how unfair the whole concept of lyrical interpretation and judgment can be and how many times this can amount to little more than character assassination. They were saying that Under the Blade was about sadomasochism and bondage. It was about my guitar player's throat operation. Songs allow a person to put their own imagination, experiences, and dreams into the lyrics. Uh, people can interpret it in many ways. Uh, Ms. Gore was looking for sadomasochism and bondage, and she found it. Someone looking for surgical references would have found it as well. Far Beyond Driven, Pantera's third major label release, surprised just about everybody when it debuted at number one on the album chart a month ago. You know, the reason why it happened is you know, not because of any crazy thing or there wasn't anything else out there. It's just because, you know, we spent four years on the road for the last two records touring nonstop. We got the most devoted loyal fans out there. And when the record came out, bam, they went and got it.
we stalled a truck the, the in Piccadilly mm -hmm. on rush hour on a Friday with a naked picture of Alice Cooper except for a boa <laughs> constrictor covering well, him. Well, we all know the photo. And, <laughs> and the great thing about it was we didn't get arrested. We didn't get anything because they went, well, good on you for doing that, you know, for doing something that ridiculous to us, you know. So the British public became our biggest allies before America did.